Sexy Times. Our special guest is Brad Moore, the man behind you in this shopping line. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what that means. Um, yeah, thanks. Yeah. I just, before we start, want to yes. thank you for making me your first choice for a guest tonight. Oh, absolutely. Uh, that was, it was uh, something, we had a, a, a great list, and once everyone fell through, we could call you. <laughs> <laughs> I, knew, I, I knew for a fact that when you gave me a good um, four or five hours of notice. Oh, well, yeah, 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 yeah. I figured it was the top of the list right there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, uh, we, uh, we notified Brad of his important uh, date tonight uh, because we hoped he would have forgotten when we didn't call him <laughs> at all. <laughs> Five hours before the show tonight. <laughs> I wasn't <laughs> uh, Then your producer gave me some pills with these Olympic rings on. Feel good? Feel great. Yeah. Fantastic. <laughs> Wood floors. Yeah. I wish there was more. <laughs> So, uh, you know, he, uh, <laughs> we steam cleaned it last week. <laughs> La um, so, the, Gordon Campbell mm -hmm. is in Copenhagen over this big climate change, and, you know, uh, you follow the top stories all the time. Well, yeah. So, uh, what do you think about I this, this big climate I consider myself change? a bit of an expert on the uh, United Nations Climate Change Conference. Really? Um, well, a local expert, or? Yeah, well, I mean, like, after the notice you gave me at 12.30, mm. <laughs> I, uh, I went on the internet. Uh, he was actually in line at a shopping mart. That's, that's yeah. 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 <laughs> um, so that was good. So I pulled up uh, just some numbers, and just uh, to, to right off the bat, we should first just, um, I think, have another hand of like round of applause for Stephen Harper. Oh, yes! Oh. yes. Awards over there. Mm -hmm. um, we've taken home a Fossil of the Day award as Canada every almost, day. almost every day there. And we win these awards for, quote, uh, Canada garnered the awards for its unwavering commitment to stand firm in its inaction throughout these negotiations. That so sounds that's, good. That's, that's really pretty strong. positive. That's what that is. That's yeah. vintage I, I, Harper. I, th I, I think that's, uh, that's a really strong. Yeah, well, he's all, he's pro-environment, so that's mm -hmm. why he's there, right? Um, and as long as, you know, the environment and, and, and Copenhagen conference, let's just talk about how environmental this climate change conference is. Well, Gordon Campbell, actually, uh, uh, he's a keynote speaker mm. at the conference, and uh, just for his flight there, uh, it was, I think, 20 tons of carbon will be used and emitted just from his one yeah. visit. There's more in, in this, during the, the... That's just one guy. Yeah, during this conference, there is going to be um, 46,000 plus tons mm -hmm. of, uh, of, of carbon dioxide create, created, which is approximately the same value as 2,300 Americans uh, would <laughs> use up in a year, or about half a million Ethiopians. <laughs> that's, that's just numbers, right? So, there. so my important question would be: Are these Americans from the south or from the north? I think it's an average. I think it's an average. Okay, because I, I mean that that may skew the Ethiopian number of half a million. Well, there's also northern and southern Ethiopians, though. So I mean, oh, yeah, it's, that's all, true. it's true. all in the yeah. wash. Yeah. Um, yeah, and and you were talking about the private jet, right? Mm -hmm. There's going to be. 140 extra private jets to the airport, to the Copenhagen airport. 100 and during 140 extra private jets are going to be flown into the Copenhagen airport during its during its uh, its peak time alone, its peak period alone, um, which is more obviously than Copenhagen airport can handle, right? Well, so yeah, again, only export, you know, snuff. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> which yeah. occupies very little space. <laughs> um, and so these jets are going to have to fly in, drop off their VIPs, and then fly to Sweden and land. <laughs> then they'll the, come back, pick up their VIPs when they're all done talking about how great the environment is, and, they and what they're doing. Them, they'll bring them back to their, their ivory towers country. in their respective countries. Yeah, um, and maybe it's not ivory tower. Maybe it's a green tower. Yeah, it's cold, however. <laughs> um, and then, uh, I mean, you get them to the airport. They gotta go somewhere. They gotta get to the conference, right? Well, yeah. Buses. Um, so the, Taxis. the the biggest uh, Copenhagen limousine company, because oh. you can't expect these environmentalists to travel in public transit. No. Or something like that, or a donkey, Sticky or whatever floors. they take over there. 
Um, so the Copenhagen's biggest limousine company, for example, has 12 vehicles on the road on a good day, like prom night in Copenhagen, at 12. There's more than 1,200 limousines that have been booked for this conference. 1,200. Wow. So they're driving them in oh. from Germany and Sweden, <laughs> hundreds of kilometers to Copenhagen to talk about the environment. Limos. Well, maybe they're green limos. No. Out of, the, out of, out of over 1,200, there's five hybrids. Five hybrids. Five hybrids. Because they're very, very, very heavily taxed over there. Ah. So financially, it doesn't make any sense. But logistically, <laughs> it makes sense to drive them in from Germany and apparently. Sweden. Um, just insane. Wow. Uh, yeah. So there, 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 there's got to be another type of, uh, of resource for, for all those limos and VIPs. I mean, they build buildings, or is there... I heard something in the news about uh, the sex workers. Mm. The union over there. The union? Yeah, they have a, uh, uh, sex a local sex workers union. What's the local? Uh, there's, <laughs> there's, uh, there's 1,400 members of the local sex union, and they're a little bit... <laughs> 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 They were, uh, For seven limos? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, they they were kind of upset because um, when the when the the summit was was was, was happening or was announced that it was going to happen, um, council put out these postcards urging delegates to be sustainable, don't buy sex. <laughs> well, isn't that a kind of a, like a renewable resource in yeah. itself? <laughs> The high tier ones are. I mean, not but only so that, but you've got 1,200 limos, 1,400 sex workers. I mean, it's like a limo, in, uh, a sex worker in every limo. Pretty much. It could be like two and some a bonus prize kind of <laughs> welcome package. Um, but they, they, the, se the sex workers were kind of upset that they were kind of being shut left out and yeah, yeah. treated badly. Because, you know, when you're a prostitute, you want respect. They're unionized. They're unionized, yeah. though. That's why they got the union, yeah. So they announced that with a climate conference delegates pass, you will receive free intercourse. <laughs> <laughs> and on that high note... <laughs> there tomorrow? Yeah, yes. Okay. <laughs> Brad, yeah. thank you so much for uh, coming on the show. No Woo! for our reindeer hunting trip up in the North Pole. <laughs> we'll be right back wearing red. See you next year. <laughs> Bye, boy.